Welcome to episode 129 of the Clarity Compressed Podcast. My name is Paul J. Daly. I will be your host. And today we are talking about a little bit honesty. We're making our way through the fog of life and clarity is understanding where we are on the map. You are here. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. All right, today I am excited about what we're doing today. So I'm going to open up the vault to a workshop that we released last year called Brand is Gravity. And it's a workshop that helps you cultivate and build a thorough brand, build a brand guide for your company or your product or your service. And I'm going to zero in on a section that's about honesty. Now, honesty is the first step in building any great brand. And honesty is based on the truth. And the truth is based on what you really actually are. And unless you can get to the bottom of that, actually, you'll never connect with people or you'll never connect with them in a sustainable way. I'm wearing a t-shirt right now from my agency, Congruent, and it says connection agency on it. We talk about ourselves as a connection agency. It's a shift in thinking. We're not marketing. We're trying to make connections with people. And our thesis is that business is more meaningful when people connect on a human level. And whether it's a personal relationship, a romantic relationship, a business relationship, whether it's a brand to consumer relationship, the honesty that is put out there about the product or service or the type of person you are, the level of honesty that is out there and that you portray and that you actually deliver on is really the indicator of the depth and the strength of that relationship. So we're gonna open the vault. We're gonna show you the section on honesty. We're gonna talk about why being honest about what your business actually delivers is what builds the foundation of a great brand. I go through an awesome case study of when Volkswagen introduced their very first Beetle and the agency that did it. Some of you might be a little familiar with the campaign, but I try to spin it in a new way and make it interesting. The clip is about six minutes long. I hope you're able to get something from it to get a little bit of clarity and perspective on where you are. Here's a little clip from the Brand is Gravity workshop on honesty. Honesty is our first value and the most important part of the process. Not just because honesty is one of the traits I value most in people, but because honesty is the foundation of a brand. And the truth always comes out. A proper deployment of honesty forms the core of your brand mass. And once you're done with the honesty section, you already have some brand mass that can go a long way toward connecting with people. Vision and values are common outputs for this section. And another helpful output from this section is a fresh understanding of your unique selling points or USPs. Don't get too aspirational in this department. This is the honesty section after all. It's about the truth of who you are. It's good to start with a few concrete things. It might be helpful to think about your brand as a system of practical but precise definitions that differentiate your organization. What do you really believe is the way things should be? What is your organization capable of? What are the things that only you can offer to the world? What sort of value do you bring to the end user? Everyone likes to think there are so many differentiators in their business, but there are almost always fewer than you think. There's a section in your workbook that prompts you to consider your closest two or three competitors' capabilities and values. When you're done with that, you'll write down your own and you'll take note of any overlap. And if you're like many companies, there's probably quite a bit of overlap. Good service, low prices, a dependable product or service, expertise, family-oriented. A lot of companies compete in the same space using the same limited arsenal of USPs. And this is why it's so hard to stand out and why most brands struggle to build brand mass. If you have some capabilities or USPs that are truly unique, then carry those through this exercise. And if not, then it's time to get really honest about developing some. Depending on your industry, the unique advantages you have over your competitors doesn't have to put you leagues ahead. It just has to be honestly you. And remember, if the center of gravity is off, everything else will be skewed. Consider Volkswagen. In the late 1950s, Volkswagen is selling cars that Hitler had a hand in creating. They offer only one model, and they're little cars that are kind of ugly. 
but they want to get a foothold in the booming American consumer market. But most popular cars are behemoths like the Chevy Bel Air. Enter the advertising agency DDB. A few years earlier, Bill Birnbach, the B of DDB, wrote a famous open letter to his then agency saying, let us blaze new trails, let us prove to the world that good taste, good art, and good writing can be good selling. Well, they didn't agree with his mission, so he blazed the trail directly starting his own agency. DDB won the Volkswagen account due to their extremely honest approach to branding and advertising. They didn't pitch concept art, featuring smiling families piling into a car, as was the prevailing style of the day. Before creating anything, they told Volkswagen that they didn't know enough about their product and needed to learn more. It's a great start. Honesty. The first campaign DDB did for Volkswagen won both companies' immortality in the advertising world and beyond. You've probably seen this ad, either as a case study or maybe on Mad Men. Pete Campbell mentions the ad once at one point in the show saying, oh yeah, I saw that. Honesty. That's a great angle. Well, the full page ad shows the Volkswagen Type 1, which we nowadays would call a Beetle, set way back in the distance. In the ad, the car is smaller than the two word headline, which says, think small. Everything is black and white, even though it was in color magazines. And from the headline down, the copy is clear, direct, and honest. It puts the car's diminutive size up front and goes through some of the benefits of being small. Using five pints of oil instead of five quarts, 32 miles to the gallon, 40,000 miles on one set of tires. Well, DDB delivered this ad because they understood Volkswagen's people and product. They understood the brand. People at Volkswagen called the Beetle an honest car, and DDB came up with an ad campaign based on telling things honestly. By not trying to fit Volkswagen's USPs into the mainstream of car advertising at the time, they stood out and built a brand with incredible gravity. The honest ads continued for over a decade, and with the headlines reading the 51, the 52, the 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61. Volkswagen showed a single photo of the car as the latest model for each year. The ad said to people that VW just doesn't change much, if at all, over the years, which makes it easy to repair. And more importantly, it asked, if you had to decide between a car that went out of style every year and a car that never did, which would it be? Volkswagen turned their lack of style updates into the feature. And at the time, this kind of honesty didn't exist in advertising, especially in automotive. Honesty in advertising didn't just make Volkswagen to one of the most massive brands of the era. It set the tone for the 60s countercultural movement by appealing to people's intelligence instead of their fears or vanity and honing in on honesty as the main value. By appealing to people's intelligence instead of on their fears or vanity and honing in on honesty as the main value, VWs became a symbol of upending the status quo. The hippies and the rebels of the 60s saw themselves in Volkswagen's clever, honest ads. The brand had enough gravity to attract an entire generation, and the rest is history. So it really is the center of any good relationship, this element of honesty. It's the type of person that we all want to be close to. Most of us, it's the type of person we want to be. If you're a brand, start with the honesty. You can be disingenuous and dishonest and you can still sell products, but guess what? It won't be for long and you will have trouble recruiting good talent and people will eventually find out the truth. So let's start with the truth. And in a world where there's so much conjecture and so much dishonesty and so much spin and so much leverage. Honesty actually cuts through the noise. So this week, may you pursue clarity by pursuing more honesty in your life, in your business, and just watch what happens so we can connect in a more meaningful way so we can build better relationships. I hope this week you find a little bit of positivity, a little bit of optimism. Trust me, there are a lot of reasons to be pessimistic. I hope this podcast helps you. As always, reach out, DM me, say hi. I will talk to you next week. I'll see you soon. Until then, pursue clarity.